Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI again. We have seen linear regression with one variable in last video. Now let's understand how exactly machine is drawing that best fit line over the data because that's what the core of linear regression is. So we have seen this example to predict the housing price where on x axis the size of the house is given in square feet and on y axis the price of the house is given in thousand dollars and these are the data sets that we have plotted and this looks really linear that's why we have used linear regression algorithm but the main question here is how this line is drawn how this best fitting line over the data is drawn by the machine that's what we want to understand here to understand that let's go back to our data so this is what the data we have trained our model on we have given 300 500 600 800 1200 as x input that is x and uh, we wanted to predict the price that is the y that we have considered now let's transfer these terms in maths and let's see what we get so for this given table this is what our assumptions are the size of the house in square feet is x column the actual prices in thousand dollars is y column x we are considering as input and y is our output that is target and m is the number of training samples the total number of training samples okay including x and y if there are nine rows that means we have total 18 training samples so x of i is the ith training sample so if i say x of 1 then we are talking about 300 so if i say x of 4 then we are talking about 800 that is ith training sample x of i y of i is stands for this i stands for the index of the training samples so similarly x of 5 is 1200 x of 6 is 1500 x of 7 is 750 if i say uh, what is y 4 then that will be 260 what is y of 6 that will be 380 i hope you understand what is x of i and y of i now the size of the house is given that is x and the price of the house that we need to predict is the output that we need to predict and we are providing our size of the house to the hypothesis or a model in mathematical term we call our model as a hypothesis so what we are going to form or create is a model or a hypothesis we call it as okay so it's not about uh, the input we provide it to the hypothesis and we get the output so this hypothesis we get after the training i mean we provide input and the output to the model and we train the model and we get the model ready and we provide the future inputs to the model so that it can predict the future outputs for the given input and this hypothesis is represented by letter h now let's come back to our original question how to draw a line on the data it's only about the line right so line can be drawn in this way it can be drawn in this way it can be drawn in this way this way this way this way but the question here is not only about drawing a line on the data the question here is drawing a best fitting line over the data so that line can pass tries to pass through each and every data point here and the equation for drawing the line as you know it is h of x is equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 x do you remember anything we have seen this equation way back in our schools we have studied this in in 6 7 8 standard in our schooling time the equation for the line is equal to c plus mx you may remember that c plus mx so the same equation is represented here in the new terms with the help of theta 0 theta 1 and x so the equation for the line is h of x that is the model that we want to predict so h is the hypothesis if we provide the input then what we get is the line that is theta 0 plus theta 1 x this is how we draw a line mathematically so machine is drawing a line right for what for the given input for x column that that's why we are saying h of x and it is drawing a line so this is equal to line machine is drawing a line for given input how it draws with the help of this equation theta 0 plus theta 1 x but the question here is we know what is x x is the input what is theta 0 and theta 1 let's understand that 
If I draw a line something like this, what is the value of theta 0 and theta 1 here? If you remember that theta 0 is called as y intercept or the bias. Wherever a line intercepts on the y axis is called theta 0. So this line intercepts on y at 1 and hence the value of theta 0 is 1 here. And what is theta 1? Theta 1 is the slope or angle, a degree. Okay, at what degree this line is drawn, right? So this looks like it is on 45 degrees. So I can say the value for theta 1 is 45 degrees or 0.5 here, that is half. So if I put the values of theta 0 is equal to 1 and theta 1 as 0.5, then I'll get this line and hence the equation to draw this line will look like this h of x is equal to 1 plus 0.5 x let's consider some more example to understand theta 0 and theta 1 in more detail let's say if the value of theta 0 is 1.5 and the value of theta 1 is equal to 0 then how does my line will look like the equation of the line will be h of x is equal to 1.5 right because the value of theta 1 is directly 0 that means this term will become 0 that's why h of x is equal to theta 0 that is 1.5 so that's what we are representing here h of x is equal to 1.5 that means and theta 0 if you remember that's a y intercept that means line will intersect on the y column at 1.5 somewhere here and value of theta 1 is 0 so no degree that means we'll get the flat line right something like this let's see some more examples if theta 0 is equal to 1 and theta 1 equal to say 0.5 can you guess how does my line will look like on this graph you guessed it you guessed it right value of theta 0 is 0 so this term will become 0 and the value of theta 1 is 0.5 that means 45 degrees so line will look something like this y intercept is 0 the line will cross somewhere from here but what will be the degree the degree will be 0.5 that means 45 degrees so this is how your line will look like can you guess this one when theta 0 is equal to 1 and theta 1 is 0.5 how does your equation will look like and how does the line will look like Perfect. When I say theta 0 equal to 1, that means theta 0 is the y-intercept. So line will intersect here and theta 1 equal to 0.5. That means the degree will be 45 degrees. So line will look something like this. And this will be your equation to draw this line. I hope you find this easy now. Yes, this is really very easy. So this is how your machine draws a line over the data. But again, the question is how machine chooses the value of theta 0 and theta 1. Currently, we are providing values of theta 0 and theta 1. That's why we are able to draw a line over the data. But how machine choose the value of theta 0 and theta 1? That's the most important question here. And we call these multipliers, that is theta here as coefficients, right? So how does machine select the values of these coefficients? That's the important question again. So machine choose the value of theta 0 and theta 1 such that the predicted output is close to the actual output for all training set. Understand this again. Choose the value of theta 0 and theta 1. Machine chooses the value of theta 0 and theta 1 such that the predicted output is close to the actual output for all training sets. Okay, it will try to draw a line in such a way that that line will pass through each and every data set okay close to actual output for all training sets right in other words we can say that choose the value of theta 0 and theta 1 such that h theta x predicted is close to y that is actual for all training sets so h theta x is predicted and y is actual and as i'm saying it should be close to y that means we want to minimize this right so we want to minimize h theta x predicted minus actual we want to minimize the error for all training sets not for only one right so this is what we get as a cost function this is what we call as a cost function here s theta x minus y and we are squaring it squaring because just to get rid of that uh, negative value after calculating cost right this equation is also called a cost function and we want to minimize the cost for all the training set that's why we can represent it in this way in short 
H theta x for ith sample. I hope you remember this i now. H theta x for first sample minus actual first sample, right? Square it if if we get the negative value and sum the error, and that's what the cost we are going to get, right? Sum this for all the training sets predicted minus actual that will be your error and that will be the cost of your application and we want to minimize that so wherever we get the minimum error that will be our best fitting line over the data and we also call this function as cost function or square error function let's visualize this and understand how machine chooses value of theta 0 and theta 1 to minimize the cost and to get the best fitting line over the data if you look at this diagram these are your data sets these are your data points and this is the line drawn by a machine say randomly to start with so this is the first attempt given by a machine it has drawn a line something like this and calculated an error how it has calculated the error it is looking for the distance from a data set to the line this this and this and the total error is this and now machine will give a second attempt and try to minimize this error and it will again draw the line so the next time machine has drawn the line more far something like this if you compare first attempt with the second attempt as you can see the line is going far from the data sets right so definitely the error will increase right so the distance between the line and the data sets will increase so error has increased by comparing these errors now machine will say that hey this means i'm increasing the error and i wanted to reduce the error right so the machine will give the one more attempt and try to minimize the error by comparing these two prior errors if you see the first line is like this machine given a second attempt so line is drawn something like this so the error increase so it will definitely try to move the line more closer to the data sets now upward right so the error will be reduced right so this is the third attempt that has been given by machine so now it says that oh that means i need to draw i need to change the angle i need to increase the slope because of this i'm reducing the error here so because of this i'm getting the best fitting line over the data and it will keep trying this unless and until it doesn't get the best fitting line over the data keep comparing these previous errors and it will try so unless and until it doesn't get minimum error it will keep giving the different attempts to the data set so ultimately at the end it will draw a best fitting line over the data by giving a try to draw a different different lines and comparing these errors all right that is it for now make sure to like subscribe and comment in next video we'll understand gradient descent periodically till then take care